Hey guys, it's ClownRP24 here, and today we have the airsoft review of the Double Eagle M56C shotgun. Hope you guys enjoy this video. So here's the Double Eagle M56C shotgun. Um, this is a really, really nice spring airsoft shotgun. And uh, it's actually the compact variant of the M56 type of uh, Double Eagle shotguns. Uh, this one features a short barrel you can see it there but really nice uh, especially good for CQB or if you're looking for just a small short backup weapon and you still want to have the stability of having a stock on um, and not buy a sawed off shotgun so I'm um, just gonna go basically into just about this gun um, this is previously owned and was custom painted by the previous owner um, so this actually this this gun actually is not mine. It actually belongs to my brother. I just thought it would be a cool you know shotgun to review for everybody on YouTube to see. So first off, um, let's see build quality. It's made of a really nice plastic. Um, the whole gun. It's got quite some heft to it. Um, the pistol grip, the cheek rest, the stock plate, and the grip to the cocking grip basically uh, have this rubberized plastic and it's really nice and comfortable to feel um, and I mean it's good it offers a very good grip um, so first off just want to start the back you have a kind of skeletonized type of stock um, it's a really nice stock problem is, is when you have it in the completely compacted position as it is right now you can't aim down your sights which is here and then there's one at the very front. You can't aim down those with the stock completely com compacted like this one, like this way. Um, there is a sling hook here. I'm pretty sure you could loop a just a sling through here if you choose to do so. Um, Cheekers has screws in case you want to remove it. And to extend the stock, you push this black button in, turn the stock, and pull it out. And it does go out pretty far. See, I'm actually at the very end of it, so. There we go. So that's about as far as the stock extends. And the stock still moves to the side. If you have this against your shoulder and you want to reload, you can always keep it stable and turn the gun. Nice feature. And to put it all the way back in, as soon as it's locked, push it up. And you're about there. And you can either push it, it won't really move. So you got to turn it sideways, push it in, locks into place, and then put it down. And now it won't move. It's very stable. Um, moving down to your pistol grip, nice and rubberized, nice and actually quite big. Um, you can get your safety here, safe, fire, uh, metal trigger. Um, you also have your trap door open release button here, which should open the door, but since the gun's being upside down, it kind of doesn't want to open. There you go. That's where you load the shells in. Okay. Moving down a little bit more, you got your grip, nice and rubberized. You got these nice grooves in it so you can get some traction aiding. You also have your sight, which is a white aperture on the rear sight as well as the front sight. Helps with, you know, clear target acquisition. You got your sling mount. Um, if you look at the sling, there's two points. There's one for the left side, one for the right side. Um, also with the barrel, can't really see down there, but I'm going to go grab a flashlight so we can look down the barrel. Guys, I grabbed one of those uh, pen flashlights that I've got. So, let's see. Okay, you see the three barrels down in there? Uh, so yes, this is a tri shot. Really nice. And the, it actually mimics, you know, the groupings that you'd see kind of with a shotgun. So, pretty neat feature. Um, you know, one downside to having a tri shot is of course magazine capacity you're gonna have limited magazine capacity because of it firing three weebies at one time um, another thing I just want to quickly mention with this gun is down in the pistol grip there is a spot for a shell so here I'll grab one yeah but I mean who's really gonna do that because if you're moving around fast especially in CQB you're not gonna it's just gonna fall out um, it does take you know the shells that tri shots take uh, here's just a couple of shells that 
that uh, they didn't come with this gun, but there's just a couple shells from other shotguns. Um, some 14 rounders. Uh, let's see if we got 30. Yeah, I got a couple 30 rounders as well. There we go, 30 rounder. 30 rounder. Um, but yeah, they look exactly like a shotgun shell. And loading the gun is pretty easy. You just hit the button here. Trap door opens. Take your shell. Load it in. Click clicks. Can't move it. And then just... So, yes, it is very, very loud, especially when it doesn't have BBs in it, but it's very nice, and I really, really recommend it. Alright guys, it's uh, ClarenP24 here, and right now, we're going to do our 15-foot range test of the WLM 56C shotgun. You guys just saw my basic overview of it, kind of like the review sort of thing, and now we're going to see how well this can perform. Um, I'm using .2 here in BBs from Matrix or evac.com. Um, they're good BBs. I really like them, and I like TSDs as well. Just don't have any of my TSDs anymore. So, um, without further ado, let's get to the shooting test of this Double Eagle M56C shotgun. Let's extend the stock first, so I have a little bit of stability, a little bit of a stable shooting platform. All right, a little bit of shell. So here's from our 15 foot range test. Really consistent groupings, especially up in this area, right above the bullseye. I'm shooting from 15 feet away and I mean I'm hitting pretty well. Um, I'm actually using a human sized target from 15 meters away and it is actually pierced pretty well. Um, there is a few, okay this is the concentration of our shots. Down here there is a few and there's actually, I've used this target before. but. Concentration of shots is up in this area. There's only a few that have fallen down here. Um, and yes, it is a very accurate gun, especially for its short barrel. And yeah, if you're definitely, by this test, if you're in CQB or a CQB game and you have a gun, well, you have a target, it's about 15, 15, feet, or 15 feet away, you're going to for sure hit it with this gun. It does have an adjustable hob up and it is very accurate as you guys have seen. So let's uh, get, the, get to the conclusion of this awesome airsoft shotgun. Alright, so as you guys just saw from that shooting test, it's very, very powerful shotgun. Um, I really like this gun. Perfect for CQB or field play. If you want something, you know, different from, you know, just carrying around a pistol. People, I've seen people carry shotguns as secondaries, you know, slung across their backs, and they work great. So check out Double Eagle's line of shotguns, especially the M56C. You won't regret looking at it, and you won't regret buying one. So thank you for watching this video, guys, and we will just see you guys later.